In this video, you'll see how you receive your cart from Cricut Mini Golf Carts and how we put in the floor plate and install the rear foot plate and grab bar. So let's get started with this. I'll show you how to pull it out and extend it. This is how you receive it from us and I'll show you how to extend it. First you pull the pin, turn it sideways, get it locked in place. Pull the car out. Put the pin back in, make sure it's locked in. Once you have it locked in, we've actually already removed all the cellophane and plastic wrap just to show you for ease of use. You wanna flip this upside down, bring it inside the cart, flip it forward bring it down past the gas pedal as you bring it past the gas pedal you got to work it past your plastic knobs here once you get your plastic knobs in place you push it forward and then pull your thumb screws out you got two thumb screws in the rear pull one out pull the other side out Now you just line up your holes and your floor plate is in place. Once you get it in place, screw down your thumb knobs really tight. And there you go. Now, as you can see, your backrest is already attached. It will not have the thumb knobs in it. Please go under your seat. You'll find your bolt package. This is your charger. This is just pull, pull out the charger, plug it in, and you're good to go. Keep your batteries fully charged at all times as you're using the cart. Here's your bolt package that we've put on the inside. You'll pull out four long thumb knobs. Those are for your seat spacers and handles. You'll have two smaller ones, which are for your back seat. Four bolts that you see in there with lock washers or lock nuts and washers are for your rear plate and grab rail so unwrap your thumb knobs and place them in the back seat your rear foot rack will be it back there as well you can just place it right there up against the rack for now but As you can see, I'm screwing in the rear seat. And now your rear seat will be nice and tight. Right here in the rear, you have your grab rail. You just move it out, bring it out here. Here's your two spacers for your seat. Place one on either side. Here's your two handrails. Place one on either side. Grab your thumb screws and unwrap them. Now what you wanna do is come over, place your thumb screws through the spacer and through the handrail. Now they just attach in the two bolts that are right there. Now your handrails are in place. And then just tighten them up. handrails in place grab the other two stick it through your handrail 
stick the spacer on top. And bolt it down in place. And there's your two handrails. Next, you're gonna to wanna to grab a 14 millimeter and a 13 millimeter. This is for your rear foot plate. So for your rear foot plate, the easiest way to install this is just to slide it through here on the seat. Line your four bolts up and attach it. You're gonna use one bolt, one washer on the outside one washer and one lock nut on the inside. Go ahead and line that up and get that started. And just tighten those up. Continue to do, do the other two. We'll skip that step and go to the next. Pull your floor plate out. Two thumb screws underneath. Just loosen up your thumb screws so you can get the floor plate in. Slide it in place. Line it up with your back seat as it comes out so you don't rub up against it. And there you go. Floor plate is in place. 